Good evening, y'all, and welcome back to the kitchen. I'm still making some stuff that I would have made before Christmas if things hadn't turned out like they did with, um, with our situation here. So this is a recipe similar to Chex Mix, <clears throat> but it's sweet and it's absolutely delicious. Someone that April had worked for brought it to work at the pharmacy and shared the recipe and we've been making it ever since. And this is something that sounds good to her and nothing right now sounds very good to her. So I'm going to go ahead and make it. It takes four sticks of butter and I've already got them in my pot. Okay. It takes a cup of Cairo or white corn syrup. And it takes a two pound bag of brown sugar. And you put all of that in your pot and melt it and then bring it to a boil. And then you let it simmer for five minutes. Then you pour it over your cereal mix and toss it. Put it on cookie sheets and put it in the oven at 200, stirring it every 15 minutes or so until it's dry. Now the difference is you're going to use Crispix cereal and corn checks and rice checks, but we don't like the corn checks in it, which I guess I should say I didn't have any corn checks. So I'm using two boxes of the Crispix cereal and I'm using one box of rice uh, checks cereal and then you want a pound of pecan halves. I've got all of that mixed up and in my pan and uh, once I get my syrup made I'm going to pour it over it and toss it and toss it till it's all coated then I'll put it on a couple of cookie sheets and put it in the oven to dry and get crisp. Let me tell y'all something this is wonderful. So you know you might want to get a bite of the hot Chex mix and then a bite of the sweet mix. It's good. So I'm going to um, get this over to the stove and get my syrup made and then I'll bring y'all back and show you um, when I'm tossing it in the cereal and getting it on the sheets to put it in the oven. Be right back. I figured y'all might as well watch me get it all in here. Get in on the whole show instead of just part of it. Living proof that I'm doing what I said I would. How's that? And we need one cup of the syrup. That brown sugar just gives it such an awesome flavor. I just love it. So I'm going to get this all in the pot. Get it over there and get it melted and let it simmer. Let it bring it up to a boil and then I'm going to let it simmer for five minutes. And uh, then we'll be back and pour it over the cereal. I did get my two cookie sheets out and I sprayed both of them with cooking spray so that this won't be hard sugar stuff on them that's hard to wash. So they're waiting for me to get I it out of it ready. all in the pot and I'm just gonna keep stirring it till my sugar and my butter all melt. Good. Make that yummy caramely flavored syrup to pour over it. The making it doesn't take long. It's that having to take it out every 15 minutes and stir it around, but it's worth the effort. This is good with Valentine's Day coming up to go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby and get you some little clear bags to put it in and some of that little red curling ribbon to tie at the top. It makes really good little, little gifts to give for the holiday, for Valentine's. Of course at Christmas, you know, dress it up in Christmas stuff. But I'm just going to get this to boil, and then I'll be back and we'll put it over the cereal. Okay, the uh, butter is almost melted, and I just got to get it up to a boil. Let it boil that five, simmer that five minutes. I'll cut it down from a boil. Once it comes to a full rolling boil, then I'll simmer it for five minutes, and we'll have us some sweet checks in the oven. Okay, it's come to a boil and I'm just going to turn it down to simmer now. And I'm going to simmer it for five minutes. I've got my timer set. Stir it in. And I'll bring y'all back when it's ready. Okay, I hear the timer going off, so I guess we better turn the fire out and get this party on the road. Be 
just want to do it just like you would your Chex Mix. Try to get some of the goodie on all of it. But it's too hot to get in with your hands, so you just have to work as quick as you can like this and get it all coated. And I'm going to finish getting this done and then I'll get it on the cookie pan and show y'all what I'm doing. Here we go. Still kind of hot on the bottom. Hot to handle. Mercy. Might need a extra cookie sheet here. And what you do, you put it in the oven and just like Chex Mix, you're just going to get it out and stir it. It just says every few minutes, but I do it at least every 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, that's one pan ready to go in. Let me get the others done. Be back in a little bit. I wanted to show y'all how much it makes. See these sheet pans? They're heaped and they're both like half sheet pans. So it makes about four gallons total. So let me get a good picture of it dished up. Then I'll be back to talk to y'all. It's so good. Y'all, and it's just as crisp as it can be, man. It's good. As a kid, I always liked Cracker Jack. Well, this is better than any Cracker Jacks or any of that kind of stuff you'll find. So, like I was telling you when I was showing you the picture, let me swallow this, it's good. Use it for any gathering that you need um, something different to share. It's just a good little sweet munch, and if somebody else brought a salty munch, then they would go together, wouldn't they? It's really like a really good, I don't, won't say caramely, but a sweet Chex Mix. And it's really good, so y'all need to try it. Don't forget to start the new year off right. And among those resolutions, why don't you decide at least one night a week to gather the family at the table and, and have a good meal and maybe set it on a certain night where they can all anticipate it and look forward to it and put those devices aside and spend some time with your family make some memories, listen to what's going on in their life. Sometimes if you listen, you can pick up on things that you can prevent a big problem down the road. Our kids today face so much that we didn't face when we were in school, and you need to spend time with them so you can pick up on issues before it becomes something major and a catastrophe in your home life. Spend some time with your family, put some good food on the table, love them, hug them. Hugs are real important. They say hugs release endorphins, which makes you happy. I like hugs. So, you know, some people say I'm not the hugging type or I'm not the kissing type. Everybody can give a hug. Spend some time with your family. Let them know how much they mean. You never know how long you've got with them. We live life like we're going to be here forever, but you know what? We're not. I saw a deal on Facebook, and I probably have already told you all this, but it was this big old long line of people. And then at the end, there was like an angel up in the sky, and it said, everybody's in line. You didn't get to choose your place. You can't swap places with anybody. When it's your turn, you're going to go. So make it count, because we never know where we are in that line and when our time's going to come. Make memories for the ones that you'll leave behind, and make memories with the ones that will leave you behind. And that'll make it sweeter and easier to get over the hurt when that time comes. I'm not being morbid, I'm being real. Spend time with your family, that's what's important. Y'all have a blessed day. Come back here, I'll be back in a day or two with something else that's good. And as far as for what's going on in our world, it's still kind of upside down, so I appreciate your prayers. And when I have a definite report to share, I will. Right now I'm just letting the Lord strengthen me and get me and my family through a difficult time. I'll see y'all in a day or two. The good Lord bless you.